My interest is in cancer immunotherapy using cytotoxic T lymphocytes to uh, target and kill uh, tumor cells. So the uh, philosophy of uh, my laboratory is really to develop these novel T cell therapies with the direct uh, aim of translating these approaches to the clinic. Um, obviously this can be a, a prolonged process, but at the present time I am the principal investigator on six uh, active clinical trials uh, using T cell therapy for cancer. So my main um, focus of interest is EBV-associated uh, Hodgkin's disease and non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. And so what we do um, for that uh, disease is we uh, take blood from the patients and uh, manufacture T lymphocytes that are specific for two of the proteins that are present on the tumor cells in EBV positive Hodgkin's disease. And the proteins are LMP1 and LMP2. So we make these T cells or LMP specific uh, cytotoxic T cells to give to patients either as adjuvant therapy after autologous transplant or for patients with relapse disease. Um, so at the present time, uh, using uh, T cells that are targeting both LMP1 and LMP2, we're actually seeing a, a clinical response rate with uh, partial remissions and complete remissions around about 75%, with a complete response rate of around about uh, 65%. So actually this is very encouraging given that you know, these are uh, often chemo refractory patients who are referred to us. And what's even more promising is in the patients who receive the T cells after autologous transplant, uh, none of those patients have uh, relapsed um, when we've given T cells specific for both LMP1 and LMP2. And the study's been open about a year at the present time, so we'll see if those um, remissions are durable. Um, but obviously these are phase one, proof of principle studies, so um, where are we going to go to from there? So I think our goal really is to you know, bring this forward to phase two and then hopefully phase three studies. Um, this will have to obviously be multi-institutional uh, and uh, that's where we would you know, really like the, the therapy to go to really show that it doesn't just, you know, that not just at Baylor are you able to, to do this approach, but hopefully more uh, at a sort of a more global level. So at the moment we're looking at keeping within North America, but um, at the moment actually patients um, are referred to me from um, uh, Europe and from uh, Australasia and South America. Um, in that setting though, the patients send their blood to us, we make the T cells and then they actually at the present time have to travel to Houston. So um, when we obviously broaden this to multinational, multi-international level, um, obviously we'll have to work on um, getting all the regulatory approval so the patients can actually get their T cells in their home um, uh, countries or cities. So at the present time, we're sort of looking at um, trying to do this within North America first and then um, brought into uh, in an international setting. Mm -hmm. There's um, very exciting work uh, going on with uh, T-cell immunotherapy, especially after bone marrow transplant. I'm particularly interested in uh, looking at uh, papers where people are looking at targeting tumour antigens or uh, non-viral antigens. And there's um, exciting work uh, coming out of Seattle uh, looking at T cells targeting minor histocompatibility antigens. Um, there's uh, a lot of work uh, using uh, chimeric antigen receptors for a multitude of uh, hematologic uh, cancers. And uh, these are uh, exciting um, uh, approaches and our, where our field is going. The benefit for the patient is that 
um, what we are offering with T cell therapy is a very targeted, almost physiologic form of therapy. So at the present time, patients with Hodgkin's disease, for example, although um, the mo majority are cured by conventional chemotherapy and or radiotherapy, um, what we're faced with now is a, a per plethora of um, late effects in these patients, um, such as uh, pulmonary and cardiac toxicities and secondary uh, cancers. So T cell therapy offers an approach that um, really would be a non-toxic but highly targeted approach. So able to kill the tumor cell with limited damage to bystander organs. And if we can um, include uh, T cell immunotherapy within the upfront um, chemotherapy regimen so that you're not having to give as much chemotherapeutic agents. This um, would really help be extremely helpful for the patient long term. So that's where we hope to go. And, and also combining T cell therapy with antibody therapy um, because both are synergistic. They should not be mutually exclusive um, and only given you know, in isolation.